Hopefully, this uh, one and a half acre here, mm. I'm expecting not less than 100 bags. It will be ready in March. In that March, I'm expecting one bag for 1,005. Hello guys, happy new year to you all. It's a brand new farming season and I'm here on KJS Pokus Farm. Uh, it's a cabbage farm. I'm here to check on the profitability of uh, cabbage farming. A lot of people are claiming cabbage farming is very profitable, but if you uh, joke, you lose a lot of money. I'm here to uh, debunk some of the few misconceptions about cabbage farming and share with you some of the good stories people have just like the gentleman i'm about to introduce to you if this is your first time you are welcome to startup gh and this video is about to open your eyes don't forget to hit the like button and share the video uh, charlie you are welcome to startup gh yeah um what's your name success um can you tell us what you do uh i'm a vegetable farmer uh, my background in agriculture i think is by gift since from the childhood I've not learned it from anywhere. Nobody to taught me. And I do a whole lot of family uh, farming. So with that, I decided to dedicate myself into agriculture, where I firstly did my uh, one year program with the uh, University of Ghana, the Ventus Foundation. And with that, uh, I work with a whole lot of companies and I manage a whole lot of farms, supervise a whole lot of farms, and I get a little or small money and I also continue again at Kumasi uh, College of Tropical Agriculture where I acquired my diploma there. So currently I'm a private extension officer uh, working for people. Uh, today we want to focus on um, cabbage farming. Yeah. Cabbage farming. Can you tell us some of your um, experience with cabbage? Okay. Uh, viewers, uh, once again, welcome to KGS Poku Farm. Uh, as you know, it's a dry season. Uh, cabbage production is very profitable. Let me say, cabbage itself is a nutritious crop which contains vitamin C and fiber and also prevents uh, constipation. But uh, before a farmer can be a successful for, uh, in cabbage production, a farmer has to co uh, consider two main points or two fundamental points. One, the, the, the type of variety that you plant then religiously following the agronomic practice. Cabbage, this is my first time in a large quantity. This is my first time doing it in a large quantity, but I've been doing it on a small scale. How did you acquire this land? Okay. Uh, we acquired this land through our mother. Okay. Our late mother. Okay. He, she acquired the, the land before she died. Okay. So, uh, as she died, the land just, the land is just here then so, yes, uh, decide to come and start something. It's on for it. you or your partner. My partner. Okay. How many? How many people are doing uh, in partnership here? Uh, let me say we are. Uh, we are three. Three. And how many acres? The the whole the whole farm is twenty six acres. Twenty six acres. Twenty six and a half acres. You prepare your land, then afterward, you prepare your nursery bed. What goes into the preparation of the land? You you weed afterward. If you plow, you plow or you harrow. What's the best way? The best way is to harrow. Okay. Uh -huh. The best way is to harrow before doing cabbage production. What does? So after the land preparation, you now go and prepare your nursery bed, whereby you nest the cabbage seed and then it will germinate for this time. Mm. So after for this time, you remove the palm front from it, then you give an amount of water with a, a amount of uh, red dome. Okay. Uh, you made mention that um, factors you consider is the variety. Yeah. Now, before you do the nursery, uh, what is the best uh, variety? Okay. What is the one working in Ghana? Okay, in Ghana, we have a lot of variety, but uh, we normally follow the customer choice. 
Okay. So in Ghana, we normally plant Oslos. Uh -huh. That's what the market demand. Why is that so? Uh, Oslos is a kind of uh, uh, cabbage which, which form a cylindrical head and it's very heavy. The thickness too is very thick and very heavy. And it, it has long life spanning. You mean if, if you cut it, it stays long on the shelf? Yeah. As you know, cabbage is a three month crop. Okay. So the nursery takes one month on a bed. Uh, let me see, for us here, yeah, we did a bed okay. and we use a drill method. Over there. So uh, you, you, you transplanted at what point? We transplanted after one month. Okay. Uh -huh. We transplanted after one month. Okay. So how many months now? This one is just two weeks now. Two weeks after transplant? Yeah. Okay. Two weeks after transplanting. So what agronomic practices do you do uh, okay. after transplanting? Okay. The agronomic practices, you know, cabbage, uh, it encounters a lot of diseases then a whole lot of uh, pest infestation. So we do spraying and then we hoe inside. Those are the main the agron those, those are the main agronomic practices that we do. We do hoeing then insecticide application. When you say insecticide application, what were insects? In cabbage production we have a lot of uh, leaf brawlers and leaf miners. Mm -hmm. And also there are some caterpillars that normally worry the leaf. Mm -hmm. So with the help of the insecticide, we control, we limit them. Okay. Uh -huh. We control them so that they will be limited. So have you applied some? Yes. Here? Today they have applied the second insecticide application. What insecticide is that? This insecticide we use here is Viper. Okay. Uh -huh. It's Viper. So um, after the insecticide and weeding, how many times do you do the weeding? The weeding, let me say, we do the, the weeding three times three before times. harvesting. By the third month, it, it should be ready. It should be ready. When do you know that it is matured? Cabbage is a three-month crop. Okay. And uh, when the three months reach, you see that it has formed a very big head. And uh, before you know that it has matured, you see that it has started splitting. Mm -hmm. The top, you see that when you study it, you see that the top has started cracking small small okay that means it is ready for harvesting yeah. let's talk about uh, numbers okay um, how much does is, is it cost intensive is it expensive to cultivate yeah cabbage normally people people think that cabbage is very uh, costive it's very costive boom but if you know how to do it, it will not cost you much. How much does it cost to cultivate an acre? An acre, let me say, uh, it can take you like 3,000 to cultivate uh, an acre. If you are doing it yourself, or maybe you have farm hands that are doing it for you. Yeah. You know, you know because of the insecticide application, then fertilizer application, mm -hmm. uh, normally we give more nitrogen, nitrogen to the cabbage. Okay. Uh -huh. And then more insecticide. Okay. So with that, it can cost you much and fuel. Okay. What do you use the fuel for? We use for irrigation. Ah, okay. Yeah. The irrigation. For the pumping of the water. Okay. The okay. And the cabbage is how many? Okay. The cabbage is, uh, let me see, if we combine the two, because there is two people who is doing it. Okay. So when we combine the two together, we get something like two and a half acres. Two and a half acres. Yeah. Okay. Can you walk us through the expenses, like okay. the land preparation, how much, how much does it cost to prepare a land? Okay. Uh, this one mm -hmm. is like something immediately. Mm -hmm. So uh, roughly to, we are, we are on the road. Okay. We've not done yet, whereby we we'll sit down and do our calculations. Mm -hmm. But how much did it cost you to prepare the land, like within and the weeding, I mean, uh, it's a contract that I'm going with them, the okay. workers. Okay. So with the land preparation, they do the land preparation themselves. Okay. So let me say the land preparation, I do not waste any money 
at the lamp preparation site. Okay. Uh -huh. But uh, I purchased the seed. How, how much is the seed? Uh, I purchased the seed thousand eight hundred. Thousand eight hundred. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, one hundred grams. Okay. Hundred grams will cultivate one acre. Okay. Hundred grams. How much is hundred grams? The hundred gram, I think, is three point five. Three point five. Yes. Okay. So this one I bought, they divided, they divided it, twenty five grams. Okay. Uh -huh. So one is hundred Ghana. Okay. The twenty five grams, one is hundred cities. Uh -huh. Yes. Then it's simple. You already cleared the land already. You yeah. bought the seed. Uh, what you do in the nursery? Do you pay for nursery? You yourself? You no, do? I did the nursery myself. If you were to take farm hands, how much do you think it would have cost you? Okay, if I should have taken a farm hand to weed, mm -hmm. or let me say Libra, okay. to weed the land preparation for me, here particularly in Conquenia, mm -hmm. uh, one acre is 500 Ghana cities. Okay. For one acre, that's for, weed, for the weed in the land preparation, mm -hmm. 500 Ghana cities. So probably by, probably let me say, the two acres can cost me like 1,000 Ghana cities. Then the half will be 1,000, let's say 1,003. Yeah. Or let's because run it say thousand five because you buy food for yeah. the transportation and stuff. Okay. For the land preparation. For the land preparation. Then the seed too. The seed too for the two acres mm. uh it will cost me thousand two hundred. Okay. The nursery I did the nursery myself, mm. but I used some chemicals to prevent some uh, infestations. Uh, what what infestation? Uh we have uh, the damping off. Okay. Whereby if there is too much water mm. It caused the, the nursery to die. Okay. So the red mm -hmm. or the fungi, fungi uh, it enabled the, uh, the nursery to stand firm. Okay. Uh, what 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 medicine? What chemical is that? Redomil. Redomil. We have we have another one, but okay. mostly I use redomil. Okay. Yeah. So uh, after the nursery, you do the transplanting. Yeah. That means you need laborers to do the planting for you. Yes, I need laborers to do the transplanting. How much do they do the planting for you? That. Okay. They're transplanting. Here in Conquenia, mm -hmm. they they plant by day. Okay. And with by day per person is forty Ghana cities. Okay. So this one I I took Libra for two days. And that two days uh I spent I, I took four Libras okay. for two days. Okay. So the two days will be three three twenty. Three twenty six. <laughs> the same way I applied to the other one too. Okay. Two times, so all will be 6.4. 6.4 yeah. for the transplanting. For the transplanting. Now, during the planting, do you plant in row? Like you use rope to? Yeah, we use rope, rope for, for the line. Okay. We use rope. As you can see, it's in a, it's in line. Okay. Very neat to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there any special dimension or you just? Yeah, use we use 60 by 45. 60 by 45. Yeah. Okay. So this is the second week. Now it's time for fertilizer application. Fertilizer application. Yeah. What's the best fertilizer? Okay, the best fertilizer is uh, the the best fertilizer that we normally use for cabbages, Yara Ativa. And with the help with the help with Supergrow mm -hmm. during the dry season, we use it to uh, boost the leaf. Okay. So you are doing advert for them. Right? <laughs> why why do you like dark fertilizer? Oh, uh, Supergrow, as you know, is an organic fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And mostly we normally use it in the dry season. Okay. We don't use it in the rainy season. Okay. When you use it in the rainy season, the plant will just come, it will just grow up mm -hmm. with no fruit. Okay. Uh -huh. But during the dry season, it also gives an amount of moist to the plant. Okay. Uh -huh. And the Yara too. Yeah, the Yara too, it contains an amount of uh, some nutrients that help the plant to boost its system. Okay. Yeah. So after fertilizer, how much is the fertilizer? When we went to the shop, do you know how much the fertilizer was costing? No. I think we spent about three thousand plus you know, for ten bags of. Currently, I think the price was uh, forty-five Ghana cedis. That's four point five. And you say forty-five Ghana cedis? <laughs> four hundred and fifty. <laughs> four hundred and fifty Ghana cedis. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like we will be happy. 
450 Ghana cedis per uh-huh. one bag, 50 grams. Mm. Uh, 50 kg. 50 kg. Yeah, 50 kg. And how many are you buying for? Okay, for the for the two, uh, for the one and a half acre, we use five bags. Okay. Yeah. In, in at once. No, the, uh, let me say for the whole farm, okay. for the whole three months. So on one acre, how many bags are you using? How many times are you doing the fertilizer application? We, we, we do three times. Three times. We, normally, it's two, it's two fertilizer application, but when we see that the, the fruit or the crop is not growing bigger, mm-hmm. we need to apply the, the third one okay. so that it will be very big. Okay. As you know, cabbage is a nitrogenous crop. Okay. So it needs no more nitrogen to grow well. So two weeks you apply your fertilizer. Yeah. How weeks. many bags on an acre? Uh, five, five bags. Five bags on an acre. Yeah. On one acre. Yeah. Hey. Just one. The first application, five bags. Oh no 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 no. Uh huh. That's that, <laughs> the first that, application. How many? Oh, the first application we use like two bags. Let me say one and a half bag. Okay. Uh-huh. Then you wait for how long? We wait for the next two weeks again, then we apply. Okay. Then the third one? The third one will depend. Okay. Uh, the third one will depend on the crop, whether it is bigger mm-hmm. or it's doing well or it's not doing well. But this one, I hope, will give two. Because as you see, no fertilizer yet, but as you, you can. can see, it's doing well. Mm-hmm. Uh, no fertilizer application, no foliar having applied to. Okay. Uh, but it's doing very well. So hopefully we are hoping to give two time span. Uh, what is the ammonia for? Okay, as you know, it's a dry season, mm. and the ammonia also help in the uh, retaining of water to the to mm. the crop in the dry season. Okay. So you you intentionally decided to cultivate in the dry season. Yeah. Can you tell us why? You know, during the rainy season, mm-hmm. a whole lot of farmers go into production. Okay. And with that. It would be plenty in the market. The supply will be the more. supply will be very high. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So when it's happened that way, the price market uh-huh, the price will fall. Okay. And then when the price falls too, then you the farmer you will not be very happy and you 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 know very well that you are losing. Okay. Maybe so wait, be, let's go back. Okay. Um right now we have done up to maturity. Yeah. Um how many what's the yield per acre? Okay. Uh, in one acre, uh, in one acre cabbage production. Okay. Uh, when uh, it depend, it also depend on the cabbage. Okay. The bigness. So let me see. Roughly, if the crop is very big or the plant is very big, mm. you in one acre you can get like eighty bucks. Or 90 bags in one acre. 80 bags of what? GMG or number five or number 80 four? bags of number, f- uh, number four. Number four. Number four. Is there a crown on top? Yes, there is a crown, but now I think they are not doing the crown again. They are not doing the crown. Just something small to cover it. Okay, so the trick is if it is smaller, a lot. A lot will go inside the bag. The bag, and you uh, lose. You lose. That, 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 in that episode, you will get like 40 bags. Mm. When when the head is small, mm. you get like forty to fifty bucks. Okay. Ha! Uh-huh. But when the head is big, you can get like eighty to ninety bucks. Mm. Yes. You don't wait. We don't wait. Okay. The the people that normally package it, they know the okay. way they package it. Okay. So let's let's go to the price. Okay. Um. Currently, how much is a, a sack? Uh. Currently, I think uh, it's seven hundred Ghana cities now. Now. Yes. Um, okay, seven hundred cities. So seven hundred Ghana cities. So seven hundred times uh, ninety. Oi, Chewa, Chewa, Jim Bloco. Okay, well, let's continue. I'm doing the math in my head. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting interested. You were giving, give us the calendar, the calendar okay. month for uh, cabbage. Okay. If you really want to make profit out of uh, cabbage. Okay. I know you charge for this, but you give us. Okay. Uh, as you know, uh, cabbage, cabbage is a very profitable crop. Okay. But before then, mm-hmm. you have to mark your calendar. Okay. So probably, let me say, if you want to meet your price, 
during the dry season. Mm. The dry season nursery starts from November 15th. Okay. November 15th. You have to nest your, 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 your seed. Okay. Then, by, uh, uh, let me say, by December 15th, then you have to do transplanting. Mm -hmm. That's one month. It will take one month on the bed. Okay. Uh, but my own, I think, uh, because of some challenges, I nest on the 24th okay. of November. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is the calendar? Yeah, that's the calendar. So, uh, but the maturity will fall on which month? The maturity will fall on March. March? Yeah. But March, okay, March, now people are preparing to plant. Yeah. Okay. And people that has it, too, they will sell it okay. before that March. So probably by, probably my own will get price. Okay. Yes. Is there any way you can do cabbage organically with no MPK and stuff? Yes. We have a way of doing organic cabbage. Doing organic cabbage, you need to get uh, manure. Okay. Let me say, example, uh, cow dung mm. or poultry manure. Okay. Mostly that's what we use. Mm. Let me say, assuming you are doing two acres of cabbage farm, mm. let me say in organic way, mm -hmm. you have to get your manure spreader, then the manure, the, uh, it will load the manure, then to spread on the, uh, the land for you. Okay. Then the tractor will now harrow it mm. and mix it with the soil before uh, the harrower to come and harrow it. Okay. Uh -huh. But what's the challenge with that? Okay. The challenge is that normally it's not everybody that have the money to go and take manure spreader. So sometimes they, they, they use Libra to spread the manure on the land mm. before a tractor will come in. A plow before the harrow to come and harrow. So, what are some of the peculiar challenges with uh, cabbage? Okay, uh, as you know, cabbage cabbage can be grown in everywhere, but not in a marshy area or muddy area. The reason being is that when you plant cabbage in a muddy area, it will die. There will be a lot of fungi disease there, which will cause the plant to die. Yeah, so. Uh, those are some of the challenges we face in cabbage production. Mm -hmm. When there's a, too much muddy, you see that the crop will be dumping off. It will be dying. Okay. Mm -hmm. That means there's a fungi disease under there. Tell us about some of the bad diseases. Okay, actually, cabbage, we don't actually have much disease like that. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's only uh, the caterpillars, then the leaf dwellers that normally worry the leaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, if there's a too much rain too, it causes the cabbage to die. Okay. But we don't have a, a most dangerous disease that affects, affects the cabbage. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, in cabbage farming, you are doing irrigation farming. Yeah. Um, we forgot to add the cost of irrigation. Okay. Uh, did, you, uh, did you dig a borehole or something? No, this one is just a stream that bypass our farm. So we just connect our machine inside. Uh, which machine? Chamfan or? Uh, this one is a, let me say, a diesel engine machine. But it's a, let me say, pumping machine. How much did you buy? 6,000. Which year? This year. This year. Which month? Uh, just last month. Oh, okay. That's, uh, last year, December. The, the dollar was when? How much? I think that time the dollar is that. Uh, 15 cities, something like that. Yeah. Hey, we never went to 15 cities. <laughs> hey, that's 12 or something. <laughs> hey. I got it for 6,000. Yeah, 6,000. What, what about the hose connecting it? Yeah, the hose connecting it to is 100 years. We bought it 2,000. And then the pipelines to the PVC pipe to one, one is 80 Ghana cities mm -hmm. in the warehouse. But in just uh, in the shops, they are selling it 90 cities and 100 cities. But we bought our own from the warehouse. We got it to 80 cities per one. Okay. How do you make money? <laughs> Actually, uh, you know, as I went to the college, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, the college didn't teach us to come and depend on the government. Mm -hmm. They teach us to be a supervisor, they teach us to be a consultant and a researcher and a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So in my money-making way, I do consul consultation for people and I supervise uh, work for people 
and then I do training on all kind of vegetable production and then I do uh, long distance management for mm. people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So which of them is more profitable? Oh. So that I will, I will go and start the school. <laughs> which of them is more? Oh, all is profitable. But which of them but, brings uh, in more money? But the consultation, mm -hmm. the consultation brings a lot of money. How much do you charge for consultation? Oh, my consultation fee is 600 Ghana cities. What? Uh, for <laughs> how many hours? Oh, just 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. On phone or on physical? Phone, on phone. Sometimes to physical. Oh. Yeah. And you are giving to us free. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's do the final one. <laughs> on this uh, two and a half acres. Okay. Let's say you are supposed to uh, get... Um, how many bags do you estimate that you get on this Okay, uh, roughly this uh, one and a half acre here, mm. I'm expecting not less than 100 bucks. Okay. Yeah, not less than 100 bucks. So it will be ready in March? It will be ready in March. How much do you anticipate uh, the price will be? Uh, in that March, I'm expecting one bag for 1,005. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been sold like that before? Oh yeah, it has been sold like that before. Hey, wait to so thousand five times hundred. So you just remove two hundred, uh, two of the zeros and add it to thousand five. You'll be at one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. But your cost of production is just like um, not even up to ten thousand. No, no, no. My cost of production is not up to ten thousand. And you are going to make one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Because as the price is seven hundred Ghana cities now, probably mm -hmm. by next month a whole lot of people will sell their own. Mm -hmm. So by March, shortage, we, will uh, come. shortage will come. But this knowledge you have uh, consulted a lot of people, so they all know. So they also produce, don't you think that? <laughs> <laughs> you see, oh, I've consulted a lot of people, but not everyone that has water mm -hmm. at their land side. Okay. Yeah, not everyone that. Fair has enough. Water. Yeah. Okay, so that is hundred bucks on just one. The other one to you. Hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Interesting. People are making money. Just three months. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Let's talk about labor. How do you find labor, and what is the arrangement with uh, labor? Okay. Normally, I arrange with uh, uh, the village women mm -hmm. in the town. Okay. Let me see. By tomorrow, too, I'll be doing some planting. Okay. So this evening, I have to go inform them that uh, work day. Work day. So tomorrow, they should come and do some planting for me. Uh -huh. yeah, so normally that's what uh, I used to get them and then I have some relationship between them, uh -huh. some communication between them uh -huh. that the moment I say it, then they will come and do it for me. If you say relationship, you, you marry them or...? Oh, no, you know, uh, we have a working relationship. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We have working relationship. The moment you talk to the person, the way you talk to the uh -huh. person, it will even motivate the person to come and work in your farm. And it. even if the person come to the farm to work in the farm, the way you react toward the person or the way you talk to the person mm -hmm. will enable the person to be coming to your farm and work. Okay. Yeah. I know of this arrangement where you come together as partners, then you share it into three, yeah. then one go to. Tell me about that one. Is it the same thing happening here? Or? Yeah, it's the same thing happening here. Tell us about it's that. A, it's a contract basis. Let me say, normally they call it division three. Okay. So the division three come like this. You get the people, you communicate with them, you sit them down, then you arrange with them. So before they will start the work, mm -hmm. you will provide them with the necessary things. Mm -hmm. Food, accommodation, then pocket money. How much? The food, this, the, the food that I bought for these people is 2,600. Mm, for the three months. For the three months. Okay. And the accommodation is 600 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And the pocket money is 200 cities every two weeks. Okay. Yeah. So at the end of the cultivation, mm -hmm. then we sit down again, then we divide. I will deduct my expenses. Okay. Then afterwards, we divide the profit into two. 
then they also take their profit then i also take my profit okay that's fair enough yeah. so if you as a consultant if you have like 10 of these things going on then you are eating from 10 <laughs> Chema, yeah, this <laughs> consultants <laughs> they have learned it. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, let's. The most important part is the marketing. Yeah. So, how do you do marketing? Okay, my marketing. Normally, I consult some of my friends, and normally, sometimes to, uh, I browse on the internet okay. to check on pages for customers. Okay. Uh, so, so no matter that's what I do for the customers. Is it like you look for the customers first before you start or yes, you have to look for the customer and let the, you communicate with the customer that this is what I'm producing for you. Okay. Uh -huh. So the moment you are producing, you know that it's already already made. Uh -huh. After it has matured, the customer will just come to the farm and come and buy. Okay. Okay. So already you are finished with your marketing. So yeah, already I've sure. finished. Yeah, I've finished with my marketing. Mm -hmm. Where will you be sending them? Is it Accra or Kumasi here? Yes, some some at Accra and some at Kumasi here. Kumasi. If anybody wants your number, it should pass through me. Yeah, no problem. So say I will get referral code. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Charlie, thank you very much for talking to us. But, your name again? Oh, success. But success. normally the, my farm name is Crop Doctor. Crop Doctor. Yeah, okay. the professional. The only professional. Mm -hmm. Crop doctor. Yeah, okay. crop doctor. Um, another thing, um, how old are you? Uh, I'm 26 years. 26 years. You know, you are very young. And what message do you have for your colleagues out there? Okay. Uh, uh, let me say, uh, welcome to KGS Poku Farm again. And my, my, my last message to the young ones there. You know, uh, you can go to school and acquire a whole lot of degree and masters. But when uh, the talent didn't work for you or what you go to the school for, it didn't work for you, I will assure you that there's money in the soil. I will assure you that there's money in the soil. You can go and purchase a, a small land or just even container, container farming can even give you a profit. So my message to the young one is that don't just sit in the house. There are a lot of lands everywhere. Yeah. Just go there and you also get something to do. Don't just sit down. So, um, apart from the cabbage, what other crops do you do? Oh, I do a whole lot of crops. Mm. At least them, let's mention. I do sweet pepper. Mm -hmm. I do a habanero, which is the, ho the hot pepper. Okay. I do cucumber. I do lettuce. Mm -hmm. uh, I do watermelon. Okay. All kind of vegetables I'm available. Mm. Uh, the next video, we'll do the sweet pepper. No problem. Maybe that will invite you into the city, then we'll do yeah. that one. I will be putting his contacts out there. Do your own research. Yeah. And verify him before you do what you make any investment. Yeah. I I will not be responsible for any of this. Thank you very much. Sign up. Charlie, thank you very much. Thank you.